Hello everybody and welcome this time to a Vestibule created by Eidolon. So a big thank you to Eidolon for this one. And before we get too deep into the science, I have a post-it note here that says I'm supposed to say hi Tom. So hi Tom, I, I have absolutely no idea who you are, why I'm supposed to say that. And it feels kind of strange saying hi to just one person. So in the interest of fairness, I'm going to say hi again. And if you feel like it, go ahead and state your name at the tone. Okay, so ready? Hi. There you go. Now everybody is fairly included in the science. Uh, the science, which appears to be quite nicely done. Uh, Dilapidure-esque aesthetics. Uh, what have we actually got going on then? We've delivered a rather filthy laser reflection cube. Which will probably be handy because there's a thermal discouragement beam here. Ah, it works. I don't want to do that again. Uh, fizzlers. Fizzlers that appear to close off two particular vestibule, if you will, type areas. Our exit door is right there. We've got a targety panel on the floor. Clearly for you, right? That's some sort of dropping thing. Probably not for me, though, because there's, you know, deadly lasers up there. Uh, there is a conveyance beam that goes across to a button. A button that appears to be the button that is going to be oh so important for the exit. Hold on. One second, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, so yeah, and there's a laser receiver there. A laser receiver that connects to both of the fizzlers and that button up there. And, oh yeah, I said I wasn't going to do that. Hop over. I said I wasn't going to do that. Hop over you. All right, so cube up there, right? So cube drop, fling, launch, perpetual loop drop type thing. Launch the cube up to there, press the button, and that looks like it. Uh, also, two giant pieces of science for the sake of two giant pieces of science. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, drama fan shadows. Drama fan shadows. Really? From that one tiny little fan up there. Well, you're being overly dramatic, aren't you? Um, that would appear to be it. Yeah. It's not going to be that simple, is it? Because I've just thought about the fact that there's fizzlers. So how am I going to get the portals in the places? Uh, that is what we're going to have to try. First of all, we probably want to get the cube on that target, or the cube doing you actually first makes sense to get rid of the fizzlers. To get rid of the fizzlers, though, we actually have to get the cube past the fizzlers. To get the cube past the fizzlers, that's a gap. That is blatantly a gap for me to get the cube past the fizzlers. There's also panels over here. No, there's a gap, but... Uh, just the drama fan. Okay, fine. Well, that gets you in that side easily enough. Let's take you in there. Oh, wait, wait. We just talked about that. There you go. Three minutes in and I've already managed to fuck up in an embarrassing manner. It is, it is four in the morning, to be completely honest. And that's the excuse I'm going to go with. So let's do that again. But let's this time remember the fact that uh, I can't go that way. Just the cube can go that way. Yeah. Now you're just fucking with me. Okay, just the cube can go that way. I can't. Yeah, I, I haven't done one quite that embarrassing for quite some time. Uh, we go through the Fizzler, which is far, far safer. And we jump over you. Right, let's uh, get you onto the targeting position here. Which does not line up in any way possible, feasible, or at all usable with... Lasers. It might with you, though. Uh, but we can't go ahead and grab you because, again, fizzlers are in the way. I'm starting to think these fizzlers are going to be rather awkward to work with. Because they're blocking the one thing I was thinking of trying to be able to do. Uh, you can go there. Right. Gets rid of both of the fizzlers, which means we can put portals through both sides, remembering not to use that one. Yeah, I haven't done something that stupid in a while, so I guess it was overdue. Uh, we could go from this side into that side to get the cube through. So I'm thinking we leave a portal in there, get the cube dropping through loopy thing, and then it should just launch back up, right, when we reposition. So to get the cube to do that. Also, lasers go through glass, as, as demonstrated here and previously. So could actually use that panel as well. To have the cube in an entirely different position. Hold on, just one sec. Bottom flange cracked. 
I've always liked that one. Um, yeah, so I want the cube in there. Let's leave a portal over in this side. Presumably there, right? Because that would make sense for launching the cube upwards. Let's put a portal over in this side and take the cube through. Yeah, just launch the cube. Makes sense. I'm thinking that's not that easy, though. Uh, so with you here, we can do the laser receptor from this side as well. Like so. Keeps both the fizzlers out of the way. And yeah, this isn't going to work, right? Because lasers are sort of infamously known for being instantaneous things. So my whole plan of just dropping you through isn't going to work unless I can be really, really quick about it. Which we all know won't happen. So in that case, let's put the orange up on you. I mean, that's clearly a target for a loopy droppy type thing, right? So let's do... Well, if I gotta move, it could be move the blue like ridiculously quickly within nanoseconds and precision aiming. Did you see that precision aiming? For some reason, my precision aiming said shoot here. But yeah, lasers are instantaneous, so that's kind of useless, isn't it? Um, easy enough to get you doing a loopy thing here, though, if we do blue and orange there. And you just keep doing that for me for the moment. Fizzler's back on, meaning I can't do anything because I'm now stuck in this particular side of the vestibule. I'm assuming these are the vestibules, right? Although it was just singular in the title, so this whole thing is a single vestibule. Um, and I'm now realizing what looked like a, hey, that will just be a launch the cube up in there, go through the exit, go home type thing, is, is not. There's some sort of portal swapping cube launching logic at play here, isn't there? Um, so I have a bunch of extra panels like everywhere. There's got to be a reason for a bunch of extra panels, including extra panels all the way up there. Which don't really appear to line up with anything. That one kind of lines up with this one. Can we get you to do a, like, big loop if we did, if we did, if we did, if we did... The right portal in the right place at the right time would make more sense. What about if dropping you through that way? Does that get you anywhere near the middle? It might, if I, like, do it with a bit of force, like this sort of height here. Can you do a... No, that's in my face. Okay, so slightly less. About there. Right, I want you to do like a, okay, again, slightly less. I want you to do a smooth curving loop. Smooth curving loop from about that kind of momentum. No, because that's not how momentum works. Momentum increasifies. Yeah, so not that either. Um, so why do you specifically go to a panel? That's got to be a purpose, right? There's got to be some other place we can do the laser from that's just as useful. Does that look important? Map designers. That looks specific, right? This one little window bit here. I don't know. I may be overcomplicating things because I'm already overcomplicating things anyway. Uh, we could get the laser to come out of you. Go over this side, get the cube out of the way. Gets the laser coming through into... Nope, gets the laser going through up to the ceiling. Is the laser going through up to the ceiling? Any use? That's wonky. Why did I not notice that that's entirely wonky? And without fizzling the cube. Yeah, that's that's entirely wonky, right? That's a design decision, meaning cube is useless anywhere other than where it's supposed to go. Um, even if I, like, right up against the wall just about here? No, that's always going to be too low, right? Or is it? We do it. Do it from... Do it from here, right on the edge. Right on the edge. I said right on the edge. Yes. Can't see how that's of any use whatsoever, but we have leveled the wonky laser. Um, that's no good, is it? Uh, no. 
Why am I wasting time with that? We do have a lot of extra panels in here, though. But that laser is always going to be... ...useless. None of the panels here line up with anything back that way. Is there some other panels I've not paid attention to? No, it's got to be some sort of cube drop portal swap logic-y thing. So do a portal cube swap logic-y thing from this side. Without too much thermal discouragement. I did say I was not going to do that again. I've done it several times since. So you sit there. Both the fizzlers are off. We did... You... And this is the same thing that I tried doing before, isn't it? So what if we did it the other way around then and we did the blue on the floor there. Orange underneath you there got you bobbing. Got you bobbing. And then I can see you from up there, but that's a tiny amount of bob height to actually work with barely see it, uh, which suggests this is completely wrong. So... Really? That was a miss, was it? I can do that. I have created perpetual cube drop looping drop motion. Same problem though, bloody great big bit of fizzlers in the way of just having a portal there to launch it up. So I'm missing something that's probably quite obvious, aren't I? Uh... Yeah, there's no way to... Because you can't have done what we just did from inside here. No. Because glass. Glass is obviously there to stop that, so it's not that. Um... What else can I even try? Let's put you back over here, then. And you sit there and do that for me. Again, that seems important. I don't know why. Design-wise, that sticks out to me. Probably completely irrelevant. Um, I can't go through. I can't carry the cube through because there's deadly, deadly lasers. You're like the same kind of height as that though, right? So what if I do carry the cube through, but we do it from there? Then what's the point of this? Is that literally to just get the cube in from that side? That would be kind of misleading. So there's got to be some... I think there's some sort of clever portal swap thing that is uh, not something that's obvious to me. But in theory, we could, like, cube snatch? Cube snatches always seem wrong, though. So it'd be... Put the orange uh, there, because that lines up with the conveyance beam. Drop through, replace orange, attempt to snatch cube on the way down somewhere here. Like that. Realise I've done that thing again where I put completely the wrong portal in completely the wrong place. So let's do that again, but in a less embarrassing manner. Again, it is, it is rather late. You sit there. Orange goes on the floor there. Uh, portal back up there, which we've already got. So no, it's... Let's replace the blue. Replace the blue. Yes, that, that issue again. Um, replace the blue. Attempt to snatch cube. Hope this works. That chucks me over there. That's huge and completely useless. Is it? You chucked me all the way over here. So is there any way for me to leave that portal up there? and chuck the cube through that way. I have to have the cube in that side. To have the cube in that side, I have to be able to get it out of here. And then... Yeah, okay, so if we put the blue there now, we follow you through to this side. You come and turn off the fizzlers here for me. Leave the orange there. Put the blue up here. You do appear to actually line up with this, so maybe I chuck the cube through. It's going to be kind of useless again, though, because fizzlers, right? Because I'd have to be able to leave a portal or place a portal on that panel as well after having done this. So, 
What good is that? I mean, it kind of lines up though, right? Yeah, if I chuck that a little bit more enthusiastically, but same bloody problem. Maybe it is a cube snatch with me flying by and launching up. But then what's the point of that? I'm going to try the cube snatch thing because I can't really think of anything else. But it feels like it would be wrong. Cube snatches always kind of feel wrong. I mean, when you see specifically in some map descriptions people going, Ninja moves and cube snatching are not intended. Then it kind of suggests that, you know, that's not how we do this game. Um, in that case, uh, blue, blue there. You gotta leave the orange up there again and we replace the orange. Attempting to snatch the cube. Done that again. Attempting to snatch the cube. But without flying quite so far out. Which is maybe why so much of the floor is portable in here. Uh, so replace the orange whilst attempting to snatch cube. Useless. I'm useless. Let's do that again then. So you go into there. Uh, orange. Orange, you go back up of that side. I can't think of anything else it could be other than this now. But again, it seems really wrong. Why did that not work? Because I am inept. That would be why. Alright, maybe it doesn't have to line up through there. If we do it there, we've got a little bit more area to work with. Uh, jump back this side. You get the orange up on you. Yeah, I mean, cube snatching feels wrong, especially when I struggle to pull the bloody thing off so much. So... You're miles away now. No, you, maybe it is lined up through there. So you go back there for me. The fact that it's like awkward usually means you're doing it completely wrong, right? And I didn't remember to move that portal either. Again, I am going to use the excuse once more. That is very late. So you go back up there. Uh, replacing the orange whilst attempting to acquire a cube. Weirdly. Yeah, that one. And that actually seemingly works perfectly. I am now one with the cube. Um, yeah, let's let's get out of here. Uh, portals aren't needed anymore. And I feel like I've done something completely wrong there because this really looks like there's a clever cube swapping logic-y fling kind of thing to do. And I've got a feeling looking at you that that's not actually the X. Oh, it's one of them. Exit tease. Ooh, nice transition extra dust and I do like destruction when just a little bit extra falls just a little bit later it's the wily e. coyote effect um however it does mean there's more science so apologies about that uh down in here we've got an exit that is going to need two buttons and we will find out when we get there if that is a genuine exit or if we're going to fall through the floor again deadly deadly goo in this one two buttons two cube droppers you 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 are squiggle Squiggle. Squiggle is a laser. A laser aimed at a panel behind what I'm going to go ahead and guess now is going to be a piece of glass that's going to be a right pain in the ass just because of its location alone. And our other button does... Our other button does... Our other button does a light bridge across to a panel there. Ah, laser reflection cube already waiting. Uh, we can also get over at the exit here. Yeah, okay, so two cubes for the exit interesting placement of what I usually refer to as convenience panels. Typically there for getting back from the exit -y kind of area. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this reflection cube then. Oh, concealed convenience steps, which you'd think would let the deadly deadly goo seep in, but apparently not. So get you up to a higher level and you can do some wait upon button type thing. Uh, light bridge. Light bridge seems useful. Because that's probably how we're going to get over to that side, right? With light bridges out of you. Uh, there is also a laser receiver and a button down there. Button. Button is... Button is cube delivery tube and laser emitter. Just one second, thank you. Cube delivery tube and laser emitter. And something else. Uh, laser receiver. 
Laser receiver is this fizzler here. And this fizzler here, which we didn't see because it's not on because that's how that works. Um, so, gonna need lasers to get rid of the fizzler. To get rid of the fizzler, we're gonna need the lasers to get the laser. We're gonna have to have you sit upon squiggle button, like so, but the inconvenient piece of glass makes that rather awkward. So we need to be able to leave a portal there. To leave a portal there, we have to get there. To get there, we need... That's what the light bridge is for, because we can stick you on here. We can use that one, and that one lines up with getting into here. Which lines up with both the panel and the laser, and we do that whole butt cheek clenching thing when we do the swap. Like so. That would give us access to getting the laser out of there, yeah? If we do you on there now... Uh, then the, move the blue to someone who actually wants a laser receiver, which is blocked by a fizzler. But I can take the place of the weight of the cube. Let's do the blue where we had it before. Uh, you come off of here, and you line up with, like, here and here, as perhaps indicated by this piece of filthy plywood. Or not, because that doesn't line up at all, so ignore everything I say. Whilst trying not to touch the fizzler, uh, we stand on you. That gets rid of you, right? So then if the blue goes directly behind you, maintains laser throughput contact. Maintaining laser throughput contact doesn't really help, but you could actually then go and sit on that one. Which gives us a light bridge, but we lose access to the laser uh, but we get a new laser so with blue there let's put the orange on you yeah actually I was gonna head through completely the wrong way and turn everything off let's go this way instead let's go ahead and press this button here which is ever so slightly out of range thank you we've got a permanent laser by the looks of it here and you've delivered me another left friction cube no permanent weight cube well, permanent weight cubes have, you know, less function, so I'm thinking you should keep the light bridge on for me because that is going to be very, very useful. You sit on there. We now have permanent light bridges. Uh, with permanent light bridges, we still need to be able to get back that way. Using those. To use those, we have to be able to get there. To get there, we have to... Who did those again? It was that one up there, right? So... If you sit on the light bridge, you line up with the laser, you get rid of you. But this fizzler's in the way, but that fizzler is also you, right? So, sacrificial cube swap. Um, moving the blue, destroys cube. This one comes on, that one goes off. So, double check. Blue on you. Yeah, swaps those round, cube goes bye-bye. But we need two cubes. We've got a portal over there. Well, that's what the convenience panel over by the exit's for, isn't it? Because that just takes us back to where cubes are born. Uh, let's do blue on you. We can get a new one of you, because you have conveniently been respawned for us. Uh, take you through to this side. And you can wait over there somewhere for me. Uh, grab you, don't have the light bridge anymore. Doesn't actually matter, because we don't need it anymore. Let's put the orange, double check. Let's put the orange on you. Take you off of there. Uh, that is two cubes for two buttons. And are you going to tease me with another destroyed floor? No, you're not. That is actually, actually the exit. Um, not too difficult in the second half, but I feel like I've completely cheesed the first part. There was probably a far cleverer portal flinging cube launching loopy swappy logic thing i don't know how else to describe it but i'm sure somebody will correct that in the comments that was a vestibule created by eidolon so a very big thank you to eidolon and a very big thank you to you for watching catch you later